Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of With a Little Help from Max for Life. And this time we're going to look at two more devices from the Inspired by Nature Life Pack that Ableton released for free for Life 11, Vector FM and Bouncy Notes. And I already have Vector FM open here. And Vector FM is a MIDI instrument. It's an FM synthesizer, as the name suggests, and it uses the same particle system as the other devices. And here, every particle represents an operator oscillator. So here we have the option to choose the amount of operators and how they're connected to each other. Let's try this out. And you can already hear that they sound quite different depending on how they're connected with each other. And here we can set the amount of voices again. Up to 16 is possible. With lock on, the device only runs when life is in playback. So that it stops when I press pause. And then we can scale the position of the particles and the speed. And that's the output gain. So here we have the different grain parameters that we can set. First off, we have the carrier waveform that we can set. And then we also have the modulator waveform. So here we have the option of different waveforms as well as noise. Let's try them out. We can tune the waveform either in MIDI notes or in Hertz. Then here we have the MIDI pitch node, which can only be activated if voice is set to MIDI. So that's the, basically the zero position. So that we could play MIDI notes live or through a MIDI clip. So here we can set the scale of the voice frequency modulation. But this only works if below in the modulation section we have the carrier frequency selected somewhere. So now you can see it's active and we can select one of the different scales or intervals. And let's have a listen. chromatic and turn it off again and I'm going to set this back to index as well the modulator frequency can be set as well so either in Hertz or ratio tuning to the carrier frequency or the order of harmonics based on carrier frequency. And then you can multiply this. And this is in powers of 10. Okay. Then we have the panning. The uh, gain of the uh, individual particles. And then here we have a filter section, just like in vector grain and vector delay. And here we also have the modulation options available that we know from the two other vector devices in the, in the life pack. And so the only difference here is the specific parameters that we have available because that depends on the available parameters in the device itself. I can only recommend playing around with those and having fun and also watch the first video in the Inspired by Nature series 
it's linked below and otherwise the info text is quite well annotated as well. And then here we've got the four settings again, just like in the other two devices. Um, not going to explain things again, but just play around so you can hear what they do. And otherwise, um, just go and have a look at the first video in the series. And then here we have the particle settings, which correspond exactly to the ones in vector grain and vector delay. So just make sure that you watch the first video if you're not sure what they do. And here I've prepped a vector FM with the voices set to MIDI. And then we can turn this on and have a listen. And Bouncy Notes, as you can see, is a MIDI effect. It's a gravity-based MIDI sequencer. So balls are dropped onto a piano roll. And so the first thing we can do is we can set in the piano roll like the scale that it should use, the root note, where it should start, and then the range of the MIDI notes. So I could also add a lot more notes to the piano roll. And then this drum rack setting is pretty cool, because when we turn this on and we add bouncy notes in front of a drum rack, then it will intelligently adjust the piano roll to the drum pads that are used in the drum rack, which is pretty cool actually. And so these drum pads would be represented on the piano roll. And here we can draw walls where the balls can bounce off of. You can simply draw them with a mouse and the double click deletes them again. Here we can adjust the uh, drop direction and the drop height. Here we can accept the amount of voices or balls. Up to 32 are possible. Lifetime means the maximum existence of a ball except it stops bouncing. And here we can decide when they should be dropped, either when you press a key or when you release it. Or we can set it to auto so that the balls are dropped automatically. And the rate at which they are dropped automatically is set here. Then we can set the speed of the balls. And the gravity. And we can set the mass of the balls as well. And here we have the option to adjust the friction of the physics. And here we can decide if the incoming note velocity should affect the gravity or the mass of the particles. And this can be adjusted between minus 100% and 100%. And then here we can set the behavior of the balls once they hit the floor, so they can either bounce. Wrap means they're going to be dropped again from the original drop height, and then random is uh, randomly selected. And so this behavior can be set for the floor collision and also when the balls hit the sides. And here we have the extra option of the balls being deleted. And here we can set the outgoing note length. And we can also make that be affected by a randomness. So if we want the note length not to be always the same, we can adjust random to length.
Here we can set the interval for the uh, quantization of the outgoing MIDI notes. And here we can set if with each bounce the velocity should be decreased. If set to 100, the ball would be simply deleted once it bounced. And here we can set if the drop direction should be getting some randomness in percent. And here we can set if the drop height should be affected by the incoming velocity and again in percent. And if I turn filter on, all the MIDI notes that are not set in the piano roll would be simply ignored, so not played at all. And here I can freeze the physics. So here we can set the velocity of the ball affecting the output velocity. Through in the end corresponds to dry. If incoming MIDI notes are put through. And this is the note out velocity setting that we can adjust. So basically the wet setting. So let's have a bit of fun with this. So here I've got a drum rack and you can either put it in front or you can put it in, on an individual drum pad, so the hi-hat or here like I've done with the snare. And as you can hear, you can get already get interesting effects with that. So this is just the snare with the bouncy notes. And here with a MIDI clip. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found this useful. And I hope I'll see you in the next video when we're going to have a look at the two remaining devices from the Inspired by Nature pack. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!